Hello, good people. This is Isaac from IWM. Today, we want to talk about timing. How to produce something that can feel different when we change timing. So today's tip is at what, we, what I call pro level, which means a little bit more advanced. But stay with me and I'm going to talk you through it. Okay, let's do this. Let's enter the studio. And uh, we want to use a drum kit. In this case, I have a drum kit called, whoops, what's it called? It's called Dracula Eastwood Kit. How about that? So we want to record just a simple beat. I'm going to find proper bass drum. Okay. So this is, um, we're going to use these three, this bass drum, this, uh, this snare, and this hi-hat. Okay, so we want to try to uh, find a good tempo, maybe a little bit slower. Okay, oops. So we're going to record, we have already recorded this very straight and I'm actually going to tighten this up with quantization, quantization, what do you call it, quantization. And so here we have uh, the hi-hat and the snare and the kick. Okay, very, very straightforward. So what will happen if we change the timing? Okay, and what is about to be changed? So there are many ways to do this. One way is to simply drag the hi-hat a little bit to the right. So we get slower, not just slower, but yes, it starts after the beat. Okay, so we're going to listen to this. Uh, okay, a little bit more. How about that? Okay, let's do this a little bit more for scientific reasons. Okay. We can change, we, we change the speed a little bit more. There we go. Uh huh. <laughs> and we're going to add a bass. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's play in uh, G. I'm going to duplicate this pattern. Okay, so we're going to see what we have here in terms of bass. Okay, we're going to Okay, so this note is, is, is about to be placed inside the pattern, otherwise it, you will not hear it. Okay, so what happens if we drag everything a little bit to the right in this, in this pattern? Uh. Okay, you can drag this a lot more. Tighten it up and drag it. You can drag it a lot more. This one is pretty good actually. You want to really uh, 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 
Yeah. Ba 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 bo. Okay. So this is what we have. Mm. And also we're gonna add a uh, electric piano, classic electric piano, some kind of a uh, Rhodes Verlitzer type of style. Okay. Okay, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna try to record that. Okay. Listen to the, from the beginning. not too bad uh, that's what happens when we change the timing of everything it just feels different it feels like we uh we're moving in a different type of circular mode and it feels to me it feels really good and that is what is the most important thing if it feels good it is good so uh, experience with the timing if you have the beat here try to move parts so that they are behind the beat or in front of the beat uh, and see what happens. And you can end up with stuff like this. Mm. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. Okay, so that was all for today. If you like what I do, subscribe and do the things you, you know to do. And I'll be very happy. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.